Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of uh, infectious medicine is Leishmaniasis. In our today's lecture, we will discuss uh, different uh, topics which will uh, cover what is Leishmaniasis. So we will talk about the Leishmaniasis as a uh, whole, what is Leishmaniasis and what are the uh, causative uh, factors or causative agents of Leishmaniasis. Then we will discuss the etiology of Leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis is uh, divided according to the different parts of the world where it, uh, it is common. So we have uh, Leishmaniasis like um, uh, tropical Leishmaniasis, we have uh, uh, African Leishmaniasis, American Leishmaniasis, then we have uh, uh, Brazilians Leishmaniasis, so different uh, causative agents causing Leishmaniasis is according to the different parts of the world, we will talk about them. Then the life cycle of Leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis has uh, two parts of the life cycle. One is in the humans and then the uh, uh, sand fly. In the sand fly we have the another part of the cycle of Leishmaniasis. So it's mainly have two parts. We have the humans and the uh, sand fly part of the life cycle. So we will discuss that in this part. Then the other uh, uh, topic which we will cover will be the cutaneous Leishmaniasis. If you remember, we already discussed in detail the most common type of Leishmaniasis, which is the uh, Kalazar or the visceral Leishmaniasis in which different organs or different viscera which are affected by the Leishmaniasis, we discussed in that. So the other common parts which are affected by the Leishmaniasis is the cutaneous, which is the skin. So we will talk about what are the different lesions which are present in the cutaneous Leishmaniasis. Then also we will talk about the post Kalazar. Kalazar Leishmaniasis was the visceral type of Leishmaniasis, very severe form. It can be very dangerous uh, and the after the malaria is known as the most common infectious disease that can cause, uh, has a very high mortality rate. So post Kalazar, after the uh, visceral Leishmaniasis, sometimes we have dermal Leishmaniasis or the uh, skin derma is the, uh, we have three layers of the skin. We have epidermis, the top layer, then the dermis, the second layer, and the subcutaneous layer of the skin. So this involves the dermal layer of the skin. So we will discuss the post Kalazar dermal Leishmaniasis or the dermal Leishmaniasis that occurs after the Kalazar or the visceral Leishmaniasis. Then also the diffuse cutaneous Leishmaniasis when it is not localized more diffuse, it involves the more areas of the skin, that's the diffuse cutaneous Leishmaniasis. And then the mucosal, when it involves the mucosa of the uh, uh, lips and surrounding area of the mouth and the pharynx, the mucosal leishmaniasis. So all that we will discuss in our today's topic, which will be mainly the leishmaniasis other than the visceral leishmaniasis, cutaneous, uh, mucosal, post Kalazar dermal and diffuse cutaneous Leishmaniasis. And uh, we ha also have other uh, 
lectures on the website available relating to infectious uh, diseases, which will be are like botulism, amoebiasis, and then we have babesiosis. All these are available on the website if you want to uh, go and get access to these lectures. You can always visit our website. These are all the lectures which are available. Thank you for watching scardia.com.